This video is a selection of the new and updated features we're excited to share with you from the April 2023 release. The full list of features can be found in the April 2023 version 20.23.4 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month we're highlighting the following features. Insert element options available for custom templates with Creator Plus. Improved filtering and troubleshooting functionalities for LTI 1.3 added for the LTI tool. The Discussions tool introduces the new creation and editing experience. And finally, Quizzes now features a confirmation dialog for learners exiting a quiz. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. The Insert Element features in Creator Plus can now be used with any client-created, community, or creative services template. Previously, the Insert Element tool would check for template compatibility, and a Template Incompatibility warning appeared to prevent unintentional CSS conflicts when authoring Creator Plus elements on unsupported templates. This limitation is now removed as Creator Plus elements have been re-engineered to be agnostic. D2L still recommends testing Creator Plus elements against your custom CSS frameworks for possible conflicts. This feature is available to all clients who have Creator Plus and is automatically enabled. To improve administrator's experience in finding and troubleshooting failed migrations, the filtering functionality is updated on the LTI Advantage page to include the following. The new registration name filter on the LTI Advantage tab, and type filter on the View Links page, located at the bottom of the LTI Tool page, and an updated filter for status on the Migration Log tab. The new filter on the LTI Advantage tab helps users with large numbers of deployments, as administrators can select a registration and filter the results by their registration names. Navigate to External Learning Tools, LTI Advantage, and click Registration. Select the desired registration name filter by clicking the radio button in the drop-down menu. You can also search for a name by entering a search term into the text field and clicking the magnifying glass icon. In the Links page, click Filter by Type. Select the desired type from the drop-down menu. Multiple types can be selected at once. You can remove all selections by selecting the Clear button. Navigate to External Learning Tools, Migration, and click the job ID you wish to view. Select the arrow beside Migration Details to view those details. The filter options are located above. The LTI feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for administrators with the existing Manage LTI Migrations or View LTI Migrations log permission at the Organization and Org Unit course offering levels. The new discussion creation experience brings create and edit consistency changes from assignments and quizzes to discussions, making it familiar and easy to learn. The first release is at full parity with classic discussions and brings refreshed workflows and improvements to restricting group topics and threads, associating topics to forums, and wording changes to settings that users may be familiar with. Navigate to Content, Create New Discussion, and enter the topic title, grade out of value, and a description. The Availability Dates and Conditions tab allows you to enter a start and end date, add release conditions, and create group and section restrictions. The Post and Completion tab allows you to choose how participation is displayed and activated for your topic. The Evaluation and Feedback tab allows you to add a rubric and learning objectives, choose how to evaluate posts, and associate competencies and learning objectives. Click Standards to browse learning objectives you can associate with your topic. The Discussions feature is available to all clients. To enable, set the configuration variable d2l.tools.discuss.createExperienceOptIn to either on or opt-in, which is recommended. The default value is off. This can be enabled at all org unit levels or at the individual org unit level. For an in-depth look at the feature and capability changes, refer to the Introducing the New Discussion Creation Experience knowledge article on Brightspace Community. This feature introduces a confirmation dialog box to learners closing in-progress quizzes. 
The dialog box is context-based, providing additional information about the impact of exiting a quiz, such as whether a learner will be able to return to their quiz after exiting, or that any quiz timers will continue to run. Note that the dialog only appears when the learner selects the X Close the Quiz button for the quiz. Closing the browser window or tab does not display the confirmation dialog. Previously, there was no dialogue or warning to learners who exited a quiz accidentally or on purpose. As a learner, As a learner while taking, while a, taking quiz, a quiz, click the X button, the to, X exit button quiz. to exit the quiz. In the exit quiz dialog, in the exit click quiz exit. dialog, click exit to return to the quiz summary. As a page. learner, while taking a quiz, click the X button to exit the quiz. The quizzes feature implements the following pie item: D7289, close or exit quiz errors correction. Thank you to all those who put forward this Pi suggestion to implement this feature. The quizzes feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the April 2023 version 20.23.4 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!